So let's proceed to problem number two. If block B weighs 200 pounds and block C uh, weighs 100 pounds, determine the required weight of block B and the angle theta for equilibrium. So notice here, guys, that our system, meron siyang dalawang pulley and we have two weights that are suspended in it. Okay? We have block B and uh, block C. So for block B, meron siyang weight, of course, that is acting downward here. So, that is 200 pounds. So, for pulleys, kung ano yung nag on this side, siya rin yung nag on this other side. So, this is also 200 pounds. And of course, hihilahin lang siya ng force going here. So, that is also 200 pounds. And for block C, yung weight niya is 100 pounds. So, that's downward. So, this is also 100 pounds here. And of course, uh, the force here, that is also 100 pounds. And of course, the weight of block B is downward. So that is W. So the required in the problem is uh, the weight of block D and the angle theta for equilibrium. So we can solve that required by analyzing this uh, force system. Okay? So, analyze natin yan. So, we need to draw another figure for that. So, let's draw its free body diagram. So, that is 100 pounds going here. And that is directed at an angle of 30 degrees. And we have here, that is 200 pounds. So, yung angle natin dyan is unknown. So, let's just put that as theta. And then, we have its weight. Okay. So for equilibrium, so summation of the forces along the x-axis is zero. So assuming that all the forces that are going to the right are positive. Okay. So ano yung mga forces natin dito that are acting on the x-axis? So dalawa, di ba? So we have the x-component of 100 pounds and then the x-component of 200 pounds. So let's just draw its components. So, for 100 pounds, yung component ng x niya, x-axis, uh, yung x-component ng 100 pounds is going here. So, uh, let's say that is uh, 100 pounds cosine, kasi uh, siya ay adjacent, so that is cosine 30 degrees. So, that is the x-component of this force. Let's say uh, this one here is, let's say, F1, and this force here is F sub 2. So, this is F1 X. Okay? And its Y component is directed upward. So, that is uh, F1 Y. That is 100 pounds sine 30 degrees because it is an opposite side. So, for 200 pounds, uh, yung ating X component for that uh, force F2. So, F2 X that is 200 pounds. Again, siya ay adjacent, so that is cosine theta. And then for y, that is upward, so that is F2y, that is 200 pounds sine theta. So after that, pwede na tayo mag-summation of forces along the x and y axis. So this is summation of forces along y equals 0. So that is all upward forces are positive. So for x axis, Sum up lang natin lahat ng forces there. So, dalawa lang yung force on the x-axis. We have the F1x and F2x. So, that is F1x is positive kasi going to the right. And then, si F2x is negative kasi going to the left. Equals 0. So, F1x is just equal to 100 pounds. That is cosine 30 degrees. Minus F2x natin. That is 200 pounds cosine, that is theta, equals 0. So, from this equation, pwede natin makompute yung angle natin theta for equilibrium. Okay, so let's now compute for angle theta. So, uh, 200 pounds cosine theta is just equal to, ito si 100 pounds, that is cosine 30 degrees. Then divide natin both sides by 200 pounds. So this gives us cosine theta. That is 100 divided by 200. So that is 1 half. 
cosine 30 degrees. Okay, so theta is arc cosine of this value. So, 1 half cosine 30 degrees. So, input lang natin guys sa calculator natin. So, arc cosine of, so shift cosine. So, that's 1 half cosine 30 degrees. So, make sure that your calculator is in degrees mode. So, our angle is 64.34. Okay, degrees for equilibrium. Okay, so this is an answer for this problem kasi hinahanap din yung angle natin. So, yung next required natin is the weight of block D. So, for that, no, mag-summation of forces tayo along the y-axis. So, that is zero. So, upward, positive. So, ano yung mga forces that are going upward? So, we have here, yung F2y natin is upward siya. So, positive yan. Yung F1y natin is also upward. So, it is also positive. But the weight is negative since it is directed downward. So, it is negative. So, F1y plus F2y, both positive kasi siya ay, sila ay uh, going upward. And then, weight natin is uh, minus yan kasi that is downward. So, equals 0. F1y natin, that is 100 pounds sine 30. And then, we have here F2y natin, that is 100, uh, I mean 200 pounds. So, yung F2y natin is 200 pounds sine theta. So, yung theta natin, guys, is 64.34. Lagay na natin dito. So, 64.34 degrees. And then, of course, yung weight natin, you can just transpose that here. So, that gives you equals W. So, just input that directly to the calculator. Again, we can compute for its uh, required weight. So, yung answer kanina, multiply na lang natin sa 200. No? So, 200 sine the answer kanina yung angle. And then, add lang natin sa 100 sine 30 degrees. Okay, so that gives you 230.28. So, 230.28. So, that is pounds. So, this is the required weight and the required angle for equilibrium. So, that's how you solve equilibrium of particles in two-dimensional system. So, we have this next problem here and we will discuss that on the next part of this video. So, I just want you to answer this problem and then uh, on my next video, it may be pending live or pending recorded video, we will solve more problems in equilibrium of particles in two-dimensional system. Thank you guys for watching this video and I hope that you have learned from this video. If you are not subscribed on this channel, just click the subscribe button. Thank you guys and see you on my next video.